In my last video, I showed you how you could add an extra button to your piece of work. Now, in this one, I'm going to show you how to add the code which plays the sound. Now, there are a couple of things to do, but it's not too difficult because of the code that's available in there already. Now, if you use the drop-down menu on the main window over here, right-click on it and open, what you'll have is all the code behind your work. So I can scroll down for a second. The first thing you will see, so under public main window, is song1.click add new rooted event handler, song1 underscore click. Now what that does is this runs the code underneath here. So I'm going to show you how you can set up your second sound. So, I'm going to copy and paste this right underneath. And this is going to be called song2.click, song2. Okay? Now, you will have an error line first, but ignore it. The next thing I have is song1 underscore click. All I'm going to do is copy that and paste it underneath. Now, I have a file in my folder called ha ha ha. Now, what I'm going to do is just rename this to ha ha ha. I will show you where to put your sound files in a moment. Now you'll notice that I've still got error messages up here. All I need to do is go down until I find the following. So there is song one right hand. I'm going to change that. Paste that, song 2, right hand. If I go even further down, there is even more code, which you should not have to change. So it was that simple. All I changed under the runtime skeleton was to check button 2. I added that one in. If I scroll up, I pasted this one in. Now, if like me, you've noticed you've just forgot to change the number, just go back and change it and all will be fine. So now I have song 1, which links to here. Song 2, which links to here. Now, if I run my code now, I should have two separate sounds which play. To run it, all you do is press the play button and it will start running. So I have my hand. This time I'm going to go over to the button we've made. <laughs> and that's the sound that makes. And then if I go over to this one, it should still play. And there's your first soundboard. Follow the next to see how you can edit it with two hands.